So it's lining up nicely for Chattanooga if they could take care of business. And they go up against this starting 11, put forth by Richie Williams and New England Revolution 2, already eliminated from contention. You see a few younger players getting an opportunity to enter the fray once again this season. Only the third start of the year for Liam Butts with a pair of goals signed back in February. Injuries have cost him this year. The former Penn State standout. That back line as intact as ever with Thiago Suarez and Victor Souza. Once again, the battery at the center back positions. On the other side for Chattanooga, Rod Underwood has relied heavily on a very similar starting 11 all season long. And we'll see if Medi Wamri can keep things going up top. 12 goals, two assists this year for the striker from France. Spent time in Europe, mainly in Bulgaria and Croatia before joining Chattanooga. Dozen goals on the season, and he scored the lone goal in the 1-0 victory when these teams last met. It'll be Chattanooga in this white and blue. And New England on the other side in their blue as the rain continues to fall here at Gillette Stadium. Glad to have you this afternoon on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. It'll be Chattanooga from right to left. New England from left to right. Referee in charge today, Melinda Homa. New England seeking its first regulation win since June 14th. They're 0-9-3 since then. Chattanooga's had the last two weeks off since they beat Columbus 2-1 back in early September. And before that, they were on an 0-3-2 stretch. They came out of it with that win against Columbus. They've had two weeks off to consider the run-in that lies ahead. Three games to play, including today for Chattanooga. Right up against that playoff line. They need all three today against New England Revolution 2. And we are underway here in Foxborough. Short from the corner, driven in by McIntosh and punched away by Antoine. Fry volleys it back in and Antoine get a touch to it out for another corner, he did. We'll have a very clear picture going into the final two weeks. As far as the playoffs are concerned, up back and through for Chattanooga and it's off the post. Rebound, save made by Gunn. First real effort of the day for Chattanooga. Back and through here, work to perfection. Alex McGrath pinning it off the post around the end of June. Still a path forward for Chattanooga. And they find something here, curling far post, and there it is! Menje Kwok curls it in. Chattanooga leads on the road. First 18 minutes largely controlled by New England. Escobar slips it through, brilliant ball, save made by Antoine. Marcos Diaz denied what would have been his 10th goal of the season. Staff, Chattanooga one, New England nothing. On the goal by Menje Kwok. And in the 18th minute for number 18. And Chattanooga, now it's slipped through for Alex Monis. It's Monis denied by Antoine. A strong left hand. This is corner number two for Chattanooga. And Swinger dropped in, top of the six, punched away by Gunn. Volleyed back in while he's on the ground. He still makes the grab. Fortuitous bounce there for J.D. Gunn. Now in transition the other way, it's Malcolm Fry scanning. Nobody really open enough in his eyes. And he does draw the free kick.
Here's Diaz. Marcos Diaz goes for goal. Diaz off the bar. Well struck by New England's top scorer. Beat Antoine, but not the crossbar. Monis looking back centrally. And cleared by Chattanooga. Both teams have hit the woodwork now once each. For Chattanooga, it happened two minutes before they finally did score. Is it the same omen here for New England? Be waking things up offensively. Ninth shot for New England, three on target. That one that hits the woodwork. Back for Antoine. Offside flag came up anyway. Klein had his pocket picked. Chattanooga looking to make it too, but Gunn secures it, no rebound. And Luis Garcia looks skyward through the rain. One from McIntosh, he'll get there. Cut off by Prepolita, drops it back now. Save made by Antoine. On the shot from Monis. Escobar. Racing ahead, Monis. Lays it ahead for Butts. Antoine stays on his line and is beaten. Liam Butts with his third goal of the season. One quick strike counter the other way as all New England needs to level things. Going Possession lost, ball cleared. And there is the whistle to end half number one. Chattanooga in a de facto must win situation took a 1-0 lead in the 18th minute. But New England battles back, where we are underway in half number two. Happy to have you along here on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. Joe Malfa with you. Diaz pens it around the post. to Gray, gets in behind. Gray cuts it back, still Gray, lays it off from McGrath, and it's wide. First opportunity of this second half for Chattanooga. After New England, come out of the gates flying in half number two. Smart decision from Gray. Just missed it in the end from McGrath. New England first team in action in MLS right now, they just kicked off, and it's nice to see a couple of faces that came through next pro. Starting in the 11 today for the Revs. Asmir Barak-Terevich. Starting as a right winger. And then Peyton Miller at the left back position for New England. You can see both in the 11. Quack sends it centrally and has it. More urgent though now it seems from Chattanooga. Out 
ahead once again for Marcos Diaz. Diaz cutting in. Diaz, it's deflected and saved by Antoine. Good reflexes off the redirect. On the turn. It's fed out wide to DRBN. DRBN goes for goal. Antoine makes the save. Ball still loose. And it's a foul against New England. Chip through for McGrath. McGrath scores it back. Lomry lays it off. Gray sets it up. Gray off the bar. First real chance for Chattanooga. Diaz. New England trying to break out. Played all the way out in front to DRB and run coming on the far side from Fry. Still DRB and going for goal, and it's a corner for New England now. has made a difference since coming on as a sub, Diarbian. They've opted to go short most of the day on these corners, New England. With a minute to play, you wonder if this is their cue to finally lump one in. Nope, goes short again. Bulma. Escobar, and it blocked, second effort here. Escobar, pinballing around, Fry. Flicks it back for Bulma. Yeah, it looks like we might be on our way to a shootout here in New England. One final effort, Bulma. Casiel calling for it, driven in by McIntosh, secured by Antoine. And there is the final whistle. We will head to a shootout here in the rain at Gillette Stadium. Garvanian against Gunn to start things off. And Gunn wins that battle. Garvanian. Not poorly taken, good pace on it. Played there professionally before joining Chattanooga the last couple of years. Has to get this on the scoreboard for Chattanooga. He cannot, two saves by J.D. Gunn. New England could run away with this one now. If they consolidate this lead here, bottom of the second. For a two goal lead, Klein denied by Antoine. Four penalties, three saves through two rounds. He bar up, scores. We'll go to a fifth no matter what now. J.D. Gunn made two saves in the first two rounds. Chattanooga takers sent him the wrong way each time. On the next two. Havork, the Arbian steps up. He was lively coming on as a sub. Unlucky to have not gotten on the score sheet in the 90 as a sub. Now from the spot, the Arbian off the post. We are tied again, heading to the fifth. Sarsar, denied by Gunn, his third save of the shootout. And New England can win it. Rather to win it here for New England. Maciel, denied by Antoine, we continue on. Eighth round begins. Gray against Gunn. Gray calmly slides it home. Which team blinks first? That's the question. Sage Kinner 
Another center back subbed on late in this second half for New England. Must score to keep it going. They've been in this situation a couple of times now, New England. Kept it going each time. Can Antoine be the hero for Chattanooga? Kinner denied by Antoine. Chattanooga picks up a much needed second point in their quest for the postseason. They will end the day one point below the line.